Well guys, we came out and started working on it again today. This is where we're at. I pulled out my wire wheel and started uh, cleaning up the welds and stuff. I got the perches, the hangers, everything all connected. Uh, what I decided to do differently on this is that these uh, the perch uh, normally is laid down like this and then you plug weld these holes or you can use bolts. But since I uh, since uh, I don't think my little Harbor Freight wire welder will be able to plug that up at the same time welding it to the steel, I decided to uh, stand it up alongside this angle iron right here. So she's welded down, across, around, and then up the other side. So yeah. And that's looking good. I painted those little, these little rocker arms here white. And, um, yeah. Started painting it all up black. Uh, I didn't get the underside yet, so I'm going to have to flip this thing over and finish that up. But I ran out of paint, as uh, you can see. <laughs> yep, this whole quarter section right underneath my arm there all that's not painted and another problem that I've noticed I just realized it that this uh, stand this bar right here is what gets welded on uh, to the trailer well the thing is is I've talked to a few people and what they do when you know a guy next door what they do is they pull out this chunk of DOM tubing right here because there's no seal in it but they take that and they put it up against the trailer and they stick their welder in there and they weld on the inside so what they do is they take out this little goofy thing and they take that and they weld on the inside that's what they do with it and because when you go to put that over the top, if you got a big old bulky weld in the way, then you got to clean that all up. So, yeah, I think what I'll probably be doing is I'm going to wait to put that on. And then uh, once I get everything all connected up, we get it flipped over, get wood on it and stuff like that. I'm going to take it down to one of these shops and have them weld that part on. Because I don't think, I doubt that little Harbor Freight welder is going to be able to weld. I mean, this is like 3 16ths maybe. Something like that. Quarter inch. I can't, I don't know. I should pull up my tape measure and measure it. But yeah, it don't matter because I won't be able to weld it anyways. I already know. So, that's where I'm at with that. And, uh, well, I'll deal with that later. Yeah, so my next step is to go down and get some more paint. I went through nine, <laughs> nine spray cans of paint. Here, yeah, I'll show you. Look at this craziness. Look at my garbage. Ah, there's like a 47 cans of paint. Yeah. I decided to only put uh, two lug nuts on because that way, if I lose one, I know I got a whole bag left. Yeah, you know I'm not being serious, don't you? Yeah. But that's where we're at right now. Yep. Now, one of you guys had asked me on the previous video, what did this cost? Well, you guys know how much the tires, the hangers, the axle, all that costs. 468. The steel, all this steel, cost me 300. Plus, on top of that, when I went down and ordered it, I told the guys. I had a big cut list of what I needed to do to the steel and I needed to figure out what would be the best lengths for me to haul. And I told them, I said, but uh, some of the stuff I can take with me and some of it you guys have to deliver because some of them are 16 foot lengths and I can't cut it inside this shop. I can't cut anything over 12 feet in this shop because I got too much crap in there. And they, uh, he looked at my paper, he's like, oh, wait a second, uh, what do you got there? And he's looking at it and uh, he goes, oh heck, we'll cut it all. Yeah. 
that luck out on that or what? It all showed up completely pre-cut. Well, except for the 45 degree angles that I had to cut in, in the frame, you know, up front there. Yeah, I had to do that myself. But other than that, it showed up pre-cut. All the steel was 300 bucks. The whole kit was 468. So yeah, that's 768 right there. 16 by six foot trailer. Of course, I, I gotta go get the decking net too. So I don't know how much that's gonna be. I don't know what I'm gonna get for that. But yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Let's walk over and show, show you a side profile of what this thing looks like. Yeah, there we go. Ah, the sun's going down. But yet, I, I also have to put, put the fenders on. The fenders did come with the kit. See, there's one sitting over there. Come on. 